Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to add a logo to your report using the PyWeb format. So what you need to do is go to the measurement plan tab in your program under multiple printout. And here usually it will show a standard protocol that's the default format of the template. So what you'll do is if you want to use that layout, you'll click this edit button which is, looks like a pencil and it will bring up the PyWeb designer. Now there'll be a pop-up window asking you if you want to save this template as a generic template, which means it's going to be available in every program, or you can save it as a measurement plan specific template, which means it will only be available in this program. So most of the time you just want it to be available for every program. So click generic templates, and then you'll give it a name. So we'll say logo test. And then the PyWeb designer will open. Sometimes the PyWeb designer is actually minimized and it doesn't appear right away. So just check for it on your toolbar. First, we're going to zoom in to see this better. So you can use the slider bar or you can use the control key along with the middle mouse wheel. The middle mouse wheel, if you click and drag, will move up and down. So now all you do is uh, select the Zeiss logo and you right click it, select image, load image. Then find the image file that you want for your logo. It can be a JPEG, bitmap, and pretty much any image file. And at first it's going to be squished. So what you'll do is you'll right click it again and hover over this little icon to restore the aspect ratio. That will make your logo the correct proportions and then you can drag the corner of it to make it bigger. Now there's some other text in the way which we can move. You can actually delete that if you want. Or if you prefer, you can go to grouping, ungroup, and just rename the text. To whatever you want it to be. You can expand this. And so now we have our general layout. And you can keep editing this header as you wish and delete fields or add fields. So for now, we're going to save it. And then do a preview of our report using this button or F11. So now we have the logo in the corner, which is nice. Another thing you can do. If you produce PDF reports and you send those to your customer, you can make your logo a hyperlink to your website. So you'll click the logo, right click and go to hyperlink, edit hyperlink. Now this navigation was there because it used to be the Zeiss logo. You can delete that. And where it says add action, we're going to open a file and the file path is actually the website. And click OK. So now if we save it and preview it again, if you hover over that logo, it's going to open to the website. Now back in your multiple printout window, if you click on it to refresh, it will show the custom template that you made. And you can even make this a default template. You can customize it more, but that's all there's to it to add a logo. It's pretty straightforward. And if you're interested in learning more about customizing reports or even file outputs, take a look at my website. I have an ebook for sale that you can download and it tells you everything you need to know about the reports in a simplified way. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.